Good morning. My name is Reese Young, and I'm here representing the Humanitarian Information Unit, which is a division of the Office of the Geographer at the U.S. Department of State. Um, today, I want to talk about the kind of cartographic pipeline we have between humanitarian actors and policymakers within the State Department. So first you can see our mission statement here and really as the HIU our main focus is taking the information about humanitarian crises and really communicating it both to the public along with the US government. Also along with that we try to really facilitate technologies that can help spread this information and make it more accessible to the actors that need it. So in the HIU, we like to think of ourselves as somewhat of a node of information where we can collect information from not only the federal government, but also through humanitarian actors, whether that be NGOs and other international organizations. And what our team really does is take this information and then try to communicate a broader story from it. So something to know about our clients is that there are policymakers, and what that really translates to is that they have very little time. And for us, that means that we need to make a static product, one that's ideally one page and it's full of as much information as we can pack on there. And what you really will see with our products is that we don't really use the idea of white space. There's really like any real estate on a page is taken up by some sort of information. So what our process looks like for creating such infographics is we have analysts on our team who collect the information and when they feel like they have a story that they could tell using the information from all the situational reports that are coming out from NGOs and the data from one-off places, they really compile that and they provide it to us where we start to articulate their story and bring the ideas to communicate it. So for an example of what one of our products would look like, I've kind of broken down one of our infographics on the South Sudan displacement crisis. Um, this was part of a two-week story kind of map where we had this map on displacement followed by a map on food security in the region. But what we normally do is we start with this basic base map, like where is South Sudan, what is surrounding it? And commonly we like to add text for a little bit more context to the situation. Um, a normal layer that we tend to use is internally displaced persons. Where are they located? How, how have they moved? Where are they coming from? Um, and to add to this story, we want to see refugee numbers. So we'll add proportional circles or other charts depicting where they're going, how many they are. Our analysts then said, well, it's interesting to see how this happened over time. When did this start? So we had a line graph depicting the numbers of refugees. When was there a spike? And in what country did they go to? And finally, on the humanitarian aspect, because these are public-facing products, we're also showing the need or how much funding has been provided for these emergency situations. So in that white space, we threw in a bar graph. A common joke we have is that we use bars, pies, donuts, and waffle charts are like some of the charts that we use. We kind of joke that we have a little bakery going on with all of our data visualization. Um, we employ methods like bivariate maps. This is a good way to get, instead of throwing down two chloropleth maps, we can have two sitting on top of each other to show the relationships. So here we see cholera and malnutrition. And the way that I put the bivariate map, the darker the blue, the more you're seeing cholera, since it's normally waterborne, it kind of lends itself to that. Whereas the red is a higher effect of malnutrition. And then the darkest colors are where you just see a prevalence of both. Um, in the bottom right, you can see that we use um, some pretty complicated graphs as well. Again, this is like taking up every inch of real estate. Like, let's just smack them on top of each other and squish them together and hope that it works. Um, hopefully, you feel the same. But a lot of times, our stories evolve from this. So this product came out about a month ago or a couple of months ago, and after that, there seemed to be an appetite for policymakers for a larger scale look at this. And so really what we created was then this move to Horn of Africa, and how is cholera and malnutrition playing out in a larger region? And this is where it becomes more complicated, and this is where the value of our products really kind of shines, is the number of situational like reports and 
the diversity of data for this region is really hard to combine in one place. And it takes a lot of work on the part of our analysts to get it to sit here and to actually work together. So here um, is one of those places where we actually ended up having two pages, um, where on the first, instead of the bivariate map, which we couldn't do based on the fidelity of data and there was no way to really mesh it on top of each other. We show the proportional sh circles showing cholera with the chloroplast showing malnutrition in children under five. And then along with that, showing people in need of emergency food aid and really that cycle showing how malnutrition and cholera are related. To help break it down further and to really show the numbers, um, the second page we had a country by country breakdown of those actual rates over time along with showing the funding, how much is funded, how much was requested. So really, as you can see at the HIU, we like to make incredibly complicated and try to make them digestible for our policymakers. Um, and by doing this, we employ many cartographic techniques and are constantly trying to reinvent that kind of wheel. Here's another bivariate map that we did. So, in the end, if you are ever interested, we try to make them publicly available. And so you can find our products at hous.state.gov. And yes, if you have any questions, I tried to do that quickly for you. Oh, there you go. Thank you.